come and lift up the name of Jesus. Hosanna. Hosanna. I love
glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. Oh, glory, glory. We're going to pray, family. Father God, we thank you. Father, we thank you for another Sunday, Father God. Another Father's Day, Father God, that you have kept us. Father, we thank you for waking us, clothing us, giving us a mind and a heart for you, Father. You said in your words, you love those that love you. And Father, we love you because you loved us first, Father. Thank you for life. Thank you for more abundance. Thank you, Father God, for new grace, new mercy, Father God. Thank you for every home, every family, Father God. Lead us and guide us, Father God. Oh, Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us into all truth. Father, we thank you for what you already have done. Father, we thank you for what you're about to do, Father God. And we ask you to bless this service, Father God. Bless your man servant, Father God. Give him a word. Give him a word, Father God. Oh, lead us and guide us, Father God. Oh, look on every home, every family, Father God. Strengthen us, Father. Give us the strength, Father. Give us favor. Give us favor. And Father, we ask you to help this unbelief, negative thought, bad habits, sickness, infirmities, and disease, witchcraft, every plan, every plot, every spirit that's not of you. Father, we ask you to bind it. We bind it. We send it back to the pits of hell. Father, we don't need it, Father God. Look on us in a special way, Jesus. Cover us. Father, look on our senior pastor. Look on our shepherd mother, Father God. Only you knows, Father God. Touch them in a gentle way, Father God. Life and more abundant. Life, Father. Oh, Father, thank you for your man serving. Thank you, Father God. Oh, Father God, thank you for the gift. Thank you for the gift. Thank God. Thank God, Father. You said much is given, much is required. We thank you for much, Father. Thank God. Our pastor, our first lady, Father God, strengthen them, Father God. Oh, give them strength, Father God. Build them up while they've been toned. Order their steps. Give them favor, Father God. Oh, fill the house for them. Fill the house, Father, and you will get the glory. Fill it, Father God. And Father, we ask you to look on your people everywhere. Father, we ask you to look on homes and families. Oh, favor with you, Father, and favor with man. Life, Father, and more abundant. You said that you would come while we would have life and have it more abundantly. And we thank you. We thank you. Glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah.
Psalms 91. Y'all don't mind if I talk about my father for a little bit, right? Thank you, Jesus. And the scripture reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the um, Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. And from the noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. Yeah. His truth shall be thy shield yeah. and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Happy Lord's Day, saints. Happy Father's Day. Oh, y'all not getting loud enough for me. Happy Father's Day. Any grateful people in the house? Any grateful people in the house? When I think of the goodness and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Sister Swindell, he chose me. He called me. Hallelujah. And I know the mess I was. And somehow he saw beyond all my faults. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And made a way. Hallelujah. Welcome me into his arms. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just talking about my father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I got folks that like to lay traps for me. I got folks that like to lay in the, in the cut and wait for me and try to snuff me when they don't see me coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I have a father who looks out for me. Hallelujah. He doesn't let any snare. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just talking about my father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm grateful because sometimes I don't feel that strong, y'all. Sometimes I feel weak and I feel like I just can't make it. 
But then my father reminds me that in my weakness, he is made strong. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, somebody's going to pick up on where I am right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not talking about your father. I'm talking about my father. Hallelujah. My father who makes a way when there is no way. My father who picks me up when I have fallen and stumbled. Hallelujah. Who receives me back when I made a mistake. And I know it was a bad mistake. But he received me back in his arms. And all I had to say is, Lord, I'm sorry. Thank you, Jesus. I'm grateful for my father. Well, welcome to another Sunday morning praise and worship experience at the Evergreen Church of God in Christ Worship Center located at 172 Decatur Street in Brooklyn, New York, between the avenues of Marcus Garvey and Lewis Avenue. We're grateful for you joining us. Uh, if this is your first time, we want you to take the time to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share with someone, family, friend, so a neighbor, co-worker. Let them know that Evergreen is live and the Lord has a word for them this day. Thank you, Jesus. We're grateful, we're grateful for uh, all, those that, all those that are here in the house, in the temple today. But we're also grateful for those that are joining us on Facebook Live. Thank you, Jesus. You are part of us, we are part of you, hallelujah. We thank you for your prayers. We thank you for your faithfulness. Uh, and once again, we want you to uh, hit our website, www.evergreencogic Worship Center. Find out what's going on in this ministry. Find out how we're reaching out to our community, how we're being a blessing in this corner of the field. Thank you, Jesus. We want you to also follow us on Twitter and on uh, 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 uh Oh, Instagram. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever we are, we want you all to be there with us. Joining hands together as we work this vineyard. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we want you to know that prayer is going on in the house. Prayer is going on in the house. And I want you to know that we have a father who hears our cries. Oh, thank you, Jesus, and responds to our circumstances. Um, once again, I'm just talking about my father. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, meet us in the prayer room. Put your request in. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, 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 open up your ears and receive what the Lord has to say to you. Uh, we're praying for our community. We're praying for our family. We're praying for our very nation. We're praying for that body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't we need prayer right now? Anybody need some help? Anybody need something from the Lord? Meet us in the prayer room. Thank you, Jesus. And then come back again, 12 o'clock noon, Eastern Standard Time on Sunday morning. And meet us in the prayer room. You don't even have to open up your mouth. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sometimes in prayer, all you can get out is you groan. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes all you can get out is a moan. Thank you. But thank God for the Holy Spirit that will translate your very groans uh, so that the Father can receive it and answer you and meet you where you are. Meet us in the prayer room. Thank you, Jesus. On Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we ask you to meet us here, right here on Facebook Live for Sunday School. Uh, we need the word. We need the word. And I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm, a, I'm appealing to people, but I'm not appealing. I'm telling you, we need the word. We need an understanding of the word, and, and, and we need to learn how to rightly divide it so that we can apply it to the circumstances that we're dealing with every single day. Our only answer is the word of God. How can you go to battle if you don't have your tools ready? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So meet us in Bible study in, in, in Sunday school and then come back on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for our prayer and Bible band once again because we need what? Say that one more time. We need what? We need the word. Thank you, Jesus. And not just us, but our family members need the word. Our children need the word. Our parents need the word. Our friends need the word. Let them know that the hallelujah, that Bible study is going forth right here at Evergreen. 
Won't you meet us, family? Thank you, Jesus. We have, uh, we just received a new flyer, and I don't have it in front of me right now. Thank you. You mind speaking to that, Pastor? Well, praise the Lord anyhow. Amen. 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 Just as a note, so that we will be on one accord every uh, Wednesday evening of the summer, we are going to be in an earlier session for our praying Bible band so that we will be able to enjoy some of the sunlight as it still stays out at 8 o'clock. Amen. So at 6.30 p.m., we meet on Wednesday evenings on Zoom, and you'll be able to be a part of the praying Bible band lessons as our own sister Alicia Terry teaches it to us with the anointing of God. So be with us 6.30 Wednesday nights for praying Bible band. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. I'm about to get out of your way because we've got some more praises to go. We, we have some more worship to do. Uh, family, if you're watching from home, I want you to recognize that it's Father's Day. And we're honoring the Father. I keep on saying that over and over again, right? Somebody going to pick up on it in a second. I'm not talking about your natural father. I'm talking about our Father in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. So y'all don't sit on your worship and don't sit on your praises today because it's Father's Day. So let's honor our Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for all the things that he has done back into the hands of our praise team.
Come on and bless the name of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
a word from the Lord. My father, my father, not only do I have the heavenly father, but I've got my father in the house. He's going to preach a word to us. I want you to receive him by giving God a praise for the superintendent emeritus, Dr. Gary Rex Jr. Come on and praise him.
happy Father's Day to all of the dads in the house and in virtual land. Happy Father's Day to you all. Thank you, praise team. Thank you, pastor. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Y'all having a hallelujah time. Thank God for you on today. Amen. You may be seated in the house of the Lord in God's presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are happy to be here. Good to see you that are here. Thank God for you on today. It's another day that the Lord has helped us and blessed us. And we ought to be happy. We ought to be glad. Thank God for Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Ah. Ben, go help me sing an old hallelujah, old time, old school. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your trouble get you down. When your trouble comes your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah. Across the fence, down the road of peace, and come on back home. Amen. Amen. God bless your heart. Let's move on in Jesus' name. I just want to talk to you a little bit. Uh, Father's Day, there's a story in the Bible uh, that may not seem uh, correct, uh, may not uh, think that it uh, should be applied to Father's Day. Amen. Father's Day. And I want you to uh, turn to the book of St. Luke, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse down to the end. I just want to talk about that story just a little bit. But before I go there, I want to talk about a lady uh, called Sonora uh, Lois Smart Dodd of Spokane, Washington. Uh, this young lady first proposed the idea of observing a Father's Day. Her, he, 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 her, her idea was uh, that, ho that the holiday would be centered specially in church services. Uh -huh. Her reason for the holiday was to honor her father, William Jackson Smart, a widow, a widowed uh, si uh, si uh, Civil War veteran. 
who for 21 years was a father uh, to his six children. Miss Dodd wanted the holiday to be uh, celebrated on the first Sunday in June, which was her father's birthday. However, history tells us that the Sparkins uh, Council couldn't get the first reading until the third Sunday in June in 1924. President Calvin Coolidge uh, supported the idea of national observance of fathers for Father's Day. However, history says it wasn't until 1966 uh, that President Lyndon Johnson signed a, pro signed a presidential proclamation claiming or declaring the third Sunday of June for Father's Day. Then, in 1972, almost 60 years after Mother's Day had been proclaimed an official holiday, President Richard Nixon established a permanent national observant of Father's Day. Uh-huh, that's what happened. So we have now Father's Day on the map. Oh, my God, the prodigal uh, son. Uh, what does this story have to do with Father's Day? Jesus used a beautiful portrait uh, within his, this parable of God, the Father, love towards his dear children. Let us at some moment take a little time and look at the traits of uh, a loving and caring father. Just a few Sundays ago, I believe my son spoke on Mother's Day, and his subject was a mother's love. And so today, as I stand here, I'm going to talk about a father's love. Uh, traits of a loving father. A loving father is faithful. First of all, according to the text, uh -huh, the son asked his father for his inheritance and referred to the father having servants uh -huh, in uh, supply servants to serve him. God has an endless supply and resource for his children. In fact, we just uh, talk about uh, this father's love today. Uh -huh. What does God provide for us? According to the Bible, God is the Jehovah Jireh, God who provides. He offers divine preparation uh, for the needs of his children, overflowing blessings according to the scripture. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemy. He anointed our head with oil, and our cup runneth over. He have treasures of goodness, according to the word of God. Your goodness, which you have, had laid uh -huh, up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you. He's a spiritual uh, uh, feast made up for all of us. He's a glorious, we have glorious inheritance for his children. I don't have nobody. A heavenly home he prepared for all of us. For in my father's house are many mentioned. If it was not so, I would have told you. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. God is a father that gives and gives and keep on giving. He gives supernatural abundance. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He's a loving father. He is a keeper of his children. He is a blesser of his children. He supports and supplies the weak, amen, of his children. I don't have nobody. He preserves the faithful. 
He takes care of you. So a loving father will be a provider for his children. Yes, yes, here are some of the traits of a loving father. A loving father will have a generous spirit. The prodigal father had a generous spirit in that he gave his son his inheritance before it was time for him to get it. Usually one does not get inheritance until someone dies. I don't have nobody. As I've said many times, Jesus have already died for us. The God, the good, a godly father will have a heart of generosity. He will love his child, even though they go wrong and do the wrong thing. I don't have nobody. Hallelujah. A loving father will have a deep concern for the welfare of his children. A loving father, even if that child means going uh, and making the wrong decisions and do things he have no business doing. The prodigal father had a deep concern for his wayward son. Ah, who took all his love and money and all his wealth and left home to an unknown place. Sound like God loves us, even though we do wrong sometimes. A loving father will continue to pray for his wayward children and will continue looking out for them no matter how long they go astray. A loving father will be a forgiving father. A prodigal father accept his son now in a broken and repentant state. His son went out and spent all his money and had to go to the hog pen. I don't have nobody, but when he got there, he found out that he was in the wrong place. Hallelujah. And then he said, in my father's house, have many servants. And I'm sitting here eating dust with the swines. I must get up from there and dust myself off and go back to my father. And according to the scripture, this son, I don't have time, uh, dust himself off. Said, what am I doing here in my father's house? He got many servants, and I'm sitting here eating with the swines. I believe I'll get up from here and go back to my father. And the Bible said that the young man got up and went running back to his father. His father was looking for his son. His father is a loving father. A loving father will run to a repentant child. He saw him coming, said, my son who left away from home is coming back home again. His father saw him coming and went running to his son. He told his servant, my son is going away, but I look like I see him coming down the road. Go get the fatted calf. Go get everything you can get and get me a ring and put on his finger. Hallelujah. And according to the text, the father gave place and got a ring for his son to put on his finger. Because my son, which was lost, is coming back home. Your heavenly father, I don't care how long 
you've been astray. How long you backslid? How long you went out from the house of God? He don't care. He still love you. Cause God is married to the backslider. Say, come on home. Daddy ain't mad with you. Come on back. Your father, your father have a ring of reconciliation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. The jewels of that ring represent peace. Represent excess, represents joy. That's what the ring means. The ring represents glory in trials, patience in tribulation, in experience. It represents hope. It tells you, I still love you in spite of what you've done wrong. Yes! Your heavenly father still loves you. You got love like no other. He went to run to his son. And the Bible said he kissed him. Hallelujah. The Bible said there's seven steps to ruin. First, there's seven self will, selfishness, separation, serenity, spiritual destitution, self abasement, servitude. Yes, Lord, but God, in spite of everything, your heavenly Father still loves you. Yeah, he comes back, reconciles you. Repentance, he returns. Reconciliation, before he would close him, he put a new robe around his shoulder. Get everything that I have. Somebody, like the old brother, will get jealous. Don't want uh, to be bothered with you. Like the old brother got jealous. I'm not going uh, to celebrate. But his father said, Don't you know uh, you've been with me all the time? I know you're there. I have the same love for the one that's going astray. I got to let him know. That I still love him. You left me, but I still love you. You backslid, but I still love you. In spite of everything you've done, come on back home. Daddy still love you. Your father still loves you. Your father still cares. Yes! Lord, come on back home. A father's love. In spite of what happens, your daddy still loves you. In spite of how far you fall down, how low you get, turn to drugs, turn to women, turn to gambling, turn to all kinds of things. But come on back home. God loves you. Come on back home. God loves you, your heavenly father. Your heavenly father still loves you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So come on back home, my friend. If there is anybody out there today that fell short of the glory of God, I come to tell you, of a father's love. The Lord bless you on this day. God bless you. My friend, man or woman, boy or girl, if you're without Christ in your life, please take this Father's Day 
come back home to your daddy. Come back home to your heavenly father. Repent of your sins. Do like the prodigal son. Say, Daddy, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But take me back even as one of your hired servants. God got his arms stretched out. He loves you. He cares for you. And if I were you, I'll give my heart to my heavenly father again. We pray for you in Jesus' name. God, our Father, we pray for that individual that's saying, I'm sorry. I come to you and accept you as my Savior and my Lord and my God. Forgive us of our sins. Blot out our transgression. We accept you as our Lord. We believe that you died and went to the cross for our sins. And we accept you as our Lord and Savior. Forgive us of all our transgressions. Blot out our iniquity. And because we believe, because we believe, we accept you today as our Savior. God bless you, my friend. It doesn't take much. It just take a coming back and throwing your arms around him and let him put his arms around you and say, welcome home. We celebrate together with all your friends. And I put this day on this Father's Day. Somebody have given their life back to Christ. God bless you, my friend. You're in the hand of the Father's love. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. One more time, everybody, help me sing. Yes, Jesus loves me oh yes Jesus loves me oh yes Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so one more time, one more time everybody sing it yes Clap your hands and give him praise. Because he loves you, clap your hands and give him praise. Amen, amen, amen. Father's love reaches out to bring you back. Oh, amen, amen, amen. And so we're grateful that the Father reached out to each of us and brought us in. We didn't deserve it. We wasn't trying to get it. But somehow he looked beyond our faults and saw our need. Thank you, Jesus. And we are grateful on today. Did we not receive a word from our senior pastor? Come on, give God praise for our senior pastor. Amen, amen. 
Amen. I'm going to personally take that as a Father's Day gift from him to me. That he was here to preach to us on today. Amen. Amen. It is our excitement. It is our gladness to have him in the house. Amen. And I know that he loves being in the house of the Lord. So I know that he's happy that he's here. And I'm happy he's here. Is anybody else with me? Amen. Amen. want to definitely reiterate what has been said already in reference to Happy Father's Day to all of our fathers. I think the ladies ought to give the fathers a hand. Yeah, yeah, you ought to make some noise, make some noise, make some noise, make some noise. Praise the name of our God. Amen. We are highly blessed. Amen. And I know that, you know, with all that's going on with medicine and all kinds of miracles that medicine is being able to wrought, there's no way that a woman can have a child without a father. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, and they try to have all kinds of equal equality all over the place, but there's no way that they've come up with a way of having a woman having a child without having a father some kind of way. Y'all ain't with me yet. Amen. So if you're a mother, you ought to thank God for the father. <laughs> Praise the name of our God. We are so excited, amen, that the Lord has blessed us on this Father's Day. Amen. And we yet have some good fathers in the land. Amen. Amen. I know somebody's trying to say, well, you know, all the fathers ain't always doing what they're supposed to do, but thank God for the ones that are. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, evangelists. Yeah. Thank you, evangelists. Thank God for the ones that are. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so as the Lord continues to help us yeah. and grow us, we shall be what he's called us to be. We're glad that you came to be with us on today in our worship experience, and we are excited that you stop by and stayed long enough to hear the word of the Lord. The invitation for salvation has already been given, but we also want to let you know that you need to be in a church home if you don't have one. And if you'd like for us to cover you virtually, we can. Or you can come to the sanctuary and be a part of the live service and be a part of the family. Amen. If you have a choice or desire to find a church home in your area, let us know. We have the ability to search out the area that you live in and find a church of God in Christ somewhere. Amen. 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 Because everybody needs to have a place called home. Amen. Amen. So we're thankful that you stopped by. We trust that the Lord has blessed you and encouraged you and lifted your spirit. As we get ready to leave you on this day, we want you to know that somebody's praying for you. They have you on their mind. And they're taking out the time to pray for you. Amen. And after they have prayed for you, we want you to clearly know that no matter how things get, we love you to life. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands in the sanctuary. Come on, clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's bless him, let's bless him. Let's bless him, let's bless him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the name of our, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I wish I had somebody that was happy. Give